It was a brisk fall night around 1.30 a.m. All was dark and quiet on the backcountry Bray Road connecting Highway 11 and County Road in Ian. Lori was driving home from her job as a manager of Elkhorn Lodge and that's when she saw something strange. At the side of the road a dark brownish gray figure was kneeling with its back turned to her, its short pointed ears being the only real thing to stand out. As Lori drove closer, it turned, showing off its strangely canine face. Its elbows were up and its claws were facing out. So she knew it had claws. She later said she remembered the long claws, which seemed to be holding roadkill, and its eyes, which reflected the glow of her headlights. It appeared to be five foot seven and 150 pounds from what she could tell at a fleeting glance. However, unlike most wild animals, this canine creature didn't run off, but instead gazed directly into her eyes. Lori drove off. She felt as if it were so like a human that there could be no trace of a wild animal being felt in those eyes. To this day, she believes it was satanic. She got the feeling it was pure evil. She doesn't really believe in werewolves, per se, but she believes something could be conjured up. Her grandmother was very religious, and Grandma believed it too. At some point later, Lori went to report her story to the Walworth County Animal Control, and hers would be one of the first to enter into Animal Control Officer John Fredrickson's manila envelope labeled Werewolf, and where the first of many sightings of the Beast of Bray Road would first be collected.